What up, Sparky? It's your boy Evan here, and this video is about arc flash boundaries. I don't want to jump into this um, too deep because I think what's more important than just the understanding the arc flash boundary is uh, understanding incident energy. So I'm working on a new series that will probably be called uh, Understanding Incident Energy, and uh, and that's going to be some exciting stuff. I have some great ideas to give you examples for that. Um, but I did make a previous video called uh, Limited Approach, another one for Restricted Approach. And then I made a video before that that was uh, Two Hazards, Three Boundaries. And again, before I start talking quickly about what the uh, arc flash boundary is, I want to make that distinction that there are two types of hazards here uh, directly associated with electrical energy. And the one is electric shock, and the boundaries for that are limited approach and restricted approach. And they have nothing to do uh, directly with arc flash boundary and uh, arc faults. And oftentimes when you're hearing this information, it's coming from somebody talking about electric safety. And when they're talking about electric safety, they're talking about both of those electric shock and arc faults. But the, so then those boundaries kind of get combined and then people start mixing them up and talking about them. And they think they're talking about one, but they're talking about the other and they just don't really understand. So again, these are two different types of hazards, two different boundaries. Don't mix them up because they don't always uh, apply at the same time. So just to talk about the uh, arc flash boundary real quick, it's, it's easily defined and here's the definition. And um, essentially it's 1.2 calories per square centimeter, right? That's the, the distance away from the arc source that the energy um, diminishes down to 1.2 calories per square centimeter. As you get clo back closer to the source, it's going to go above that. As you get farther away, it's going to go down. And not just you, but anybody that's going to get closer to an exposed, uh, exposed light part that is going to have an arc arcing fault potential, um, if anybody gets closer than that point, they have to have the PPE for it. And, and again, what PPE and at what distance and all that, that's another video. So we're just talking about that line. Now here's the thing, and this is where people start to mess this up, is that that line is movable. And it does, sometimes it almost doesn't even exist or it's not relevant. Take a, uh, maybe like a plug in a house. And there was no voltage drop figured in, so they ran you know, 12 gauge, you know, 200 feet through the house to get to this plug. If there was a short there and you were working on it, um, a ground fault, let's just say, the, it would spark, right? And it would probably trip the breaker. Um, and there is technically an arc fault there. And there's gonna be some light, maybe a little, a little spark will fly out and some heat will come out. But it is, it, the blast there and the flash there are so small that even if you were this far away, it wouldn't happen long enough to even give you the onset of that second degree burn, um, or that it wouldn't give you that 1.2 calories per square centimeter anymore. So in that case, there virtually is no arc flash hazard for you to trigger that PPE. So just because there's no specific arc flash um, PPE that's required, there's still general PPE that's required to protect your eyes, your skin, etc. But it's it's a different thing than the arc flash PPE. Um, now go stand in front of the panel to the house, and there could be a potential arc flash there that's going to impose more than 1.2 calories to you, which would require you to have PPE, and uh, and that's it. Now I want to make sure that I get that out because I am going to work on that that new series, Understanding Incident Energy, but I felt that this was just important to cover quickly before jumping into that. So hope this made sense. Stay tuned to the other videos. Um, I think you're really going to enjoy them. Be safe out there.